You're like Jesus, Tom. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Uncanny Valley, an atmospheric pixel horror game. It is fantastically fantastic. Uh, there are weapons and such that you can find, but mostly it's about crawling through your environment and uh, figuring out what the hell to do, which generally doesn't interest me, um, especially if it has horror in the title. <laughs> I'm quite skeptical these days with the jump scares and whatnot, but this game does it exceedingly well. Let us go home after waking up in an alley, not remembering where we are. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. Yep. Run away from the thing. There's the door to my apartment. Ah, oh, missed it. <laughs> okay. Was it a dream? No. Don't answer the door. Don't do it. No, no, no. Shit! 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to Uncanny Valley. <laughs> I'm mentally ill! <laughs> Hashtag Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> I'm having night terrors again, and apparently I'm talking to myself. Great. I know how that feels, bro. Bob had tits. <laughs> this is your workstation. Security office, let's go in after you. This is it. There's a couple cameras set up in this place. But like I said, you need to make rounds each night. Now go to your room in the apartment building and get your gear in the closet. Here are the keys to the facility. After that, come straight back here. Your shift starts immediately. Go on, leave me alone. Thanks, Bob. I mean, Buck. I mean, Tits. <laughs> that last one wasn't even clever. But it makes me feel good. Cause Boston makes me feel good. Super cool, running down the hall. Scratching on my balls. My dick got caught in the elevator walls. <laughs> Ground floor, please. Bellhop. Wait, there's no bellhop. It's just like The Shining. Holy shit. This is the Overlook Hotel, isn't it? God damn it! Where am I? I can see nothing! I don't think there's like a, a battery meter or anything on the flashlight. So that's nice. Quite nice to have these solar powered flashlights. <laughs> I guess we'll go patrol. We're not gonna be like that lazy guy. We're gonna go and do stuff. Elevator to lower levels. It needs two security cards to open. Well, damn. Let's let's start at the top, and we'll work our way down. Oh God. Nope. 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 We'll start on the first floor. Thanks. Hmm. We'll go right. Seems about right. Oh, tape. Tape. Hello, computer? Can we drive the forklift? Forklift! Foreground lift. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this then? What's all this then? You gotta switch between the <laughs> D-pad and the control stick, which is interesting. Um... Play the tape. Play the fucking tape! We're closing the facilities. That's terrible. Indeed. This will be the last time that we meet. It was wonderful spending time with you. We'll all be leaving. That's unfortunate, Doctor. It will be lonely here. I know. We tried. Would you like to talk about it? We were so close. You will do better next time. <laughs> the voice acting needs a little bit of help. I will say that much. But the storyline is interesting. I definitely want to find more of these tapes and progress further. Oh, I guess this is the end of this hall. 
So let's go check out the other way. Hooray! Let's see if we can find more emails from Andrew. Oh no, my shift is over. I need to get some sleep. Whatever, fucking shift change. I'm out! Yeah, creepy crawls. Alright, so now I'm in the... What the fuck? Yeah, this is what the Uncanny Valley is about. Oh, don't... No, no, no. <sighs> yes. Exit. Exit is very good. Oh, there's a fucking tape over here. Is this my alarm clock? <laughs> yeah, really low res. Meet me in the relaxation room tonight. Second floor, first door on the left. We'll go check it out. Maybe Eve wants a booty call. Hey, girl. Nope. <laughs> when you work the night shift, the day just seems so fucking, like, bright. You're just like, ah! The colors! Ah! <laughs> My eyes! Let's run. We're excited to go to work. We can do this again sometime soon. Sure. Don't get lost. Can I arcade machine? I need to find a quarter. Eve, loan me a dollar. There's no change machine. Shit! Conference room. Hey, fancy. Look at that. Flowers. Haven't died in 20 years. That's how you're supposed to do it. Plastic flowers. And then you spray them with perfume every time you're going to have a conference. Oh, tape. Tape. Tape for me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four, seven. <laughs> what? Alright. Sleepy time. We got some money. And then we spent it at a bar. We fucking drank it. And then we puked it into a toilet. Oh. What a lovely place. So beautiful. <laughs> There's nothing over here. <gasps> you need to get to the generator hut. It's located past the apartments. Just keep walking to the right and you'll see it. And go to the control panel. I left further instructions there. It's really easy. Even you could do it. If you don't, I'll fix it up in the morning. But I will stop being Mr. Nice Guy. I must spend all night in this fucking generator shit. This is the most foully laid out puzzle I have seen in my days. My shift is over. I spent the whole fucking thing doing a goddamn generator fucking crap. Whatever. Fuck everything. Goodbye. Now I have to wake up and fucking walk through the snow and darkness. Turn the generator on myself and apparently I'm the only one who's not completely dumb. On this world, I'll be wet. I won't be able to sleep for the whole night. But who fucking cares? Cause that fucker won't be able to sleep and I'll be completely fucked up the next day. Who will go out to place that, huh? What if someone does actually show up and murders us all? Yeah, better he didn't think about that. Fucking useless moron. This walk is taking forever. Where the fuck is that fucking... Why do they have to place it all the way out here? Couldn't they put it somewhere closer? What? Who are you? What are you doing here? Whoa, what? You should leave as soon as you can. Good luck. Well... Oh. My God. Um... Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Goodbye! <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? 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 Yeah. Key? Is it a key? I found a key. So we need to find Tim's apartment. Okay. Feed me some clues about Tim, please. Oh, hello. Hello, governor. Buck's car keys? Fuck yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna fucking steal Buck's car is what I'm gonna do. 
Just fuck that dead dude. I don't give a shit. He doesn't have feelings to hurt no more. Dude, we just got fucking punched in the mouth by some gangsters. They followed me back home. Better do as I was told and lay low for a while. What the- what- what the fuck? Good morning, darling. Did you sleep okay? Eve, where the hell am I? What are you talking about? You're home. These nightmares of yours must be getting worse. How do you know about my nightmares? What's going on? You're always so funny when you first wake up. I see you're already dressed. I was only able to fi find a uniform for now. I'm getting the rest of your clothes later. And keep out of the storage, dear. I just got organized with everything. Oh, okay, honey. Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat! Johnny Kano! Luke Cage! Tom! Oh, what the fuck? What did I just... Excuse me? Oh, accident number two. I can do nothing! Help! It's a recording, I'm sorry! Help! I don't know what's happening! Help! Help! Okay then. What is. No, 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 no! Leave me alone! No! You dick. Oh, did I tase him? Oh, what the fuck? No! I'm all injured and shit now. They said not to come in the storage area. They came in the storage area. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I came in the storage area. And I just want you guys to love me. Oh. I was actually starting to tear up. Crocodile tears. <laughs> Thank you, dearies. I hope you didn't hurt him too much. We love each other, you know. It's like fucking the chicken misery. <laughs> I'll make sure nobody can hurt him. This is a really... I've made a lot of Stephen King references in this game. <laughs> nobody can hurt him ever again. Tom, my poor Tom. You can't be trusted. Always getting into trouble. One day, you will manage to kill yourself. And what will I do then, huh? I'm afraid I'll have to keep you from hurting yourself. Don't worry. We can live here forever without any disturbance. I'll take care of you. I promise. Now, this might hurt a little. But remember, I'm doing this for your own good. Now, hold steady. It will be over soon. What? Why are you doing this? You don't need arms, right? Legs are overrated too. And she's cauterizing the wound! Jesus Christ! Thank God it is pixel graphics. And then you're like, you're like Jesus, Tom. Wow. What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? I love you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so this game has been absolutely insane. For the controls, I've given the game an 8 out of 10. It is compatible with the mouse or the keyboard and both feel completely adequate for what you are trying to do. Um, the fun factor, however, I've given a 4 out of 10 simply because it feels more like a game that happens to you. Um, you are participating in it in ways that you don't really realize that you are, making different choices. However, um, a lot of it feels like you are the passive character and the, and the game is just happening around you. So it's I don't find it too engaging. The difficulty I've given a 5 out of 10, if you're trying to go for a certain ending, I'm sure that's pretty difficult to do. 
but uh, it would take a lot of repetition, and I don't know if that's something that I'm really willing to sit down and participate in. It was good for what it is. Uh, it wasn't too hard to get through, so I give it an average difficulty rating at a 5 out of 10. The replayability is an 8 out of 10. You can definitely tromp through this game a good probably 7, 8, 9, 10 times and end up with a different ending every single time, which is pretty damn cool. I I think it's probably worth another playthrough. I might find myself playing it a third time if I get a little more curious because the story is is not yet fully formed, which is something that I kind of have trouble with. Um, simply because I wish you were presented a complete experience every time, and this game does not necessarily do that. It, it sort of necessitates multiple playthroughs if you want to get the entire story, which is both good and bad, um, but for the replayability score, that is great. <laughs> The innovation is a 10 out of 10. I think it's really well well done pixel graphic horror. Um, the art style is kind of low res, which, you know, I'm, I'm cool with the retro style, but when it is so low res that you can't tell whether something is a tape recorder or an alarm clock, it presents some troubles. So, on the aesthetic side, I've given the graphics a 6 out of 10, which I think is fair. Um... It does have a really nice style, and a lot of the stuff gets across, and I feel kind of bad giving it a 6 out of 10, but it is just so low res that um, I, I I find myself wondering what most things are, <laughs> which isn't the way that it should be, in my opinion. The music is a 10 out of 10. It does really well with the atmosphere and pulling you in. And for the sound effects, I have given it an 8 out of 10. Uh, footsteps in the hall are just so real. Like, it's... A lot of the sound work is really amazing in this game, and I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if it were not for the voice acting, which I guess for the girl in the tapes, it kind of makes sense, but, um... Even the guy sounds like he's really not invested. <laughs> so, I think if they step the voice acting up, it could be... Uh, a little better, but it's still pretty good on its own with an 8 out of 10. Uh, the story I've given a 7 out of 10. Because it's not presented as a cohesive experience, the story is extremely interesting. Uh, but I'm not even sure that I get it completely yet. <laughs> because it seems to Tarantino around a lot between playthroughs, which, you know, if somebody's mentally ill, maybe that's, that's fitting. But, um, I'm not extremely. <laughs> I am to a, a tiny degree, but not extremely. So I would like a, an experience that's a little more cohesive. Yeah, I was going to say linear, but cohesive is what I'm looking for. Level design, I've given a 4 out of 10. It's not extremely inspired. Um, there's limited places that you can go. And um, overall, I didn't... I didn't find it extremely engaging, so uh, another 4 out of 10 for this game. Totals out to a 70 out of 100, a nice 7 out of 10 for you uh, 10 out of 10 folk, which is a pretty respectable score. I'd say it's above average. Um, it could do with a bit of spit and polish, definitely. But for the low price, I mean under $10, it's kind of hard to lose out. And uh, you'll definitely get at least a couple hours, you know, a movie worth, basically, and more if you want to come back and replay it a couple more times, which is pretty good in my book. So definitely check out The Uncanny Valley if it looks like something that you would enjoy. This has been another Dayton Dissects. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Until then. Bye-bye. One, two... Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.